What Lonzo Thinks is a wide-ranging, free-flowing discussion where I offer up my unsolicited views on everything from movies, politics, sports, religion, music, you name it. If it's happening, I'm talking about it. It's unsolicited. You probably don't want to hear it, but I talk about it anyway. And if you're listening to this right now, I guess you do want to hear it. So, here we go. All right. Santa Claus. It's Christmas morning. It's 1.55 a.m. and I can't sleep. So, why not talk about Christmas? Oh, by the way, Merry Christmas to everybody out there that's listening right now. So, I hope Santa Claus brought you everything that you wanted and that you're having a great, safe Christmas time with your family and loved ones and getting all the stuff that you want and having a great meal and making quality time with your folks because that's the important thing, I guess, about Christmas is just spending time with your loved ones and, and rejoicing in all the all that's good about the things in this world versus the negative things that tend to bring us down. Anyways, all that being said, I'm going to talk about the conundrum of Santa Claus. The conundrum of Santa Claus. All right, first of all, my friends call me the Grinch. I don't know why. Maybe because I keep it real. I don't know. I don't hate Christmas. I'm not against Christmas. I'm not against the thought of Christmas. I'm not against the theory of Christmas, but I am against the bastardization of Christmas. Most notably, the lie that we tell our children about Santa Claus. Yes, it's a lie. If it's not true, then it's a lie by definition. If you tell somebody something that is not true, you know it's not true, and you tell them anyway to believe that it's true, then by definition, that is a lie. If you tell a lie in court under oath, you go to jail. If you lie to your spouse, your spouse about cheating on her, you get divorced. If you lie to your boss about something you did at work, you might get fired. A lie is a lie is a lie. So when you tell your kids that Santa Claus is real, then by definition, you are lying to your children. What kind of example does that set? If you tell your children to always tell the truth, but then you turn around and lie to them about Santa Claus or the Tooth Fairy or the Easter Bunny or all that other shit that we lie to our kids about hypocritically, then turn around and tell them not to lie about anything and we get mad at them and punish them for lying to us. That's where I'm coming from when I talk about conundrum of Santa Claus. Okay, first of all, let's talk about Santa a little bit, where he came from. Santa's been around like since like the early 13th, 14th, 15th century, somewhere around there. It's been a long time. There's been a lot of different incarnations of Santa. Uh, I think he started off as, well, There's he's known as different names depend on, depending on what part of the world I guess you're from or whatever. You got St. Nicholas. You got Father Christmas. I think Father Christmas is British. St. Nicholas is German, I think. He's, and you got Santa Claus, which is Dutch. Of course, you got the Americanized version of Santa Claus. And that's the one I'm kind of focusing on because I'm American. I'm in America. That's And I learned about the American version of Santa Claus. And theory is that in the early 1900s, Santa Claus as we know him now was created by the Coca-Cola company to sell Coca-Cola. I don't know how true that is, but that's the theory. So that's the theory that I'm banking on. Um, and whether or not that's, that's totally accurate, I don't know. It's not really important to the point that I'm trying to make. Um, theory is, but once again, that Santa's colors, the red and white, of course, is because Coca-Cola's colors are red and white. And all of this is just something manufactured to get you buy, get you to buy Coke. And that, that marketing has turned into something that it really should not have become, I think. Anyways, anyways, I digress. Get back on point. The point is, Santa Claus is a lie. And the thing that really bothers me about Santa Claus, about the whole Christmas thing, is that that the last time I checked, Christmas is the birth of Jesus Christ. And that's what we're celebrating. 
it's her birthday. And of course, gifts were given in, on Santa's birthday, and the, you know, we know the story in the manger and all that kind of stuff. So that's where it kind of comes from. Last time I checked, Santa Claus ain't nowhere in that conversation. So where the hell he come from, and why ain't he getting all the glory? That's what I want to know. Because my thing is, fast forward to 2017, you know, why in God's green earth would you allow some fictional dude to take credit for your hard work all year long? Because I'll be damned. I worked all year long to provide for my family and provide for my kids and to give them you know, nice gifts or whatever or for your friends or whatever. I'm not going to let some fat dude in a red suit take, take um, credit for my hard work. Ain't happening. Why tell the lie? Why is it necessary? What does it accomplish? Does it, does it make your kids feel good? Because for, for one, do, are, are kids that gullible? I hope not, because I always, I always kept it real with my kids. I told my kids from day one, Santa Claus symbolizes something, but that, that shit ain't real, okay? Ain't no dude, white, no fat white dude gonna come to this house and drop off any presents. Ain't happening. So I want y'all believing in that shit. Everything that's under that tree, your daddy paid for it, or your mama paid for it, or friends and family paid for that stuff that's under that tree that you're gonna get on Christmas Day. That's where it comes from. People that love you are providing for you these gifts for you. So understand the context and where it all comes from. Otherwise, if, if, you, if you're trying to perpetrate that lie because it's, it's a part of childhood, then childhood is built on a lie. Now, I understand the symbolism. I'm not against the symbolism of Christmas. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not against the symbolism of Santa Claus. But don't wrap that symbolism in a lie. Put it, put it in its proper context and Christmas is still Christmas. It doesn't ruin the experience for the children, I don't think. On a personal note, I never believed in Santa Claus. I always knew that this was a bunch of bullshit. And I'm sure a lot of people felt the same way that I feel about Santa. Uh, for one, I grew up in an apartment. We didn't have no chimney, so that, that let me know right there. This shit ain't real. I know he ain't coming through the front door. And the funny thing about it is, Right now, it is 2.03 a.m. on Christmas morning, and I guarantee you, 100%, each and every one of you listening right now, if some big fat white dude tried to get in your house right now, you would A, grab your gun and shoot his ass, B, call the cops, C, shoot him, then call the cops. There ain't no way you'll let some stranger in your house with a bag full of whatever trying to drop off gifts under your Christmas tree. So, that being the case, why in the hell do you go through all this nonsense when you yourself would not allow that to happen in your own home when you sent your kids to bed believing that some dude's gonna come to the house and drop off presents? Does that make any sense? Is, is, it, is it just me that's, that's seeing how stupid that is? How it makes no motherfucking sense? Excuse my French, but I got to keep it real. Please help me understand this. Chime in, comment below. Let me, if I'm off base, please let me know. Set me straight. Put me in my place. Let me know that I'm wrong. Let me know that what I'm saying is, is, is just far-fetched and shouldn't be said. Because I cannot understand for the life of me why we would perpetrate such a farce on society to the point where it is just kind of overtaking us it's, it's it's simply ridiculous santa claus is a marketing tool okay he's there to to make rich people richer corporations richer anyone who sells anything who manufactures gifts manufacture anything they ride that horse and we eat it up we suck it up and we throw our money away behind it and we, we we continually perpetrate that lie so is it okay to tell the lie is it not really a lie it's a white lie but a white lie is still a lie why put our kids in that position because because once again as a kid just thinking back to how i felt about things back then i always just kind of wondered 
I mean, why why are y'all going through all this nonsense? It, maybe it's just me. I don't know. I don't get it. It's not for me to get. But that's the that's the conundrum of Santa Claus. Now, if we juxtapose this across society, you got black Santa, you got white Santa, and I'm sure you got some other all these other different nationalities of Santa. So which Santa is real Santa? Hmm? Tell, tell, you know, tell me that because you know you got all, all these different religions who celebrate who don't celebrate Christmas or may, may celebrate it in a different way it doesn't it doesn't hold up and I know I shouldn't be taking this literally I, I, my friends have told me before you, you, you was thinking way too much just have fun with it blah 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 I'm sorry I can't have fun I can't ever have fun with lying to my kids that's not fun to me it's kind of sickening if you really think about it. And, and it kind of just shows how jaded and how twisted we are as a society where we can continually per perpetrate such a fraud on our youth, but turn around and ask our youth to be truthful and to be respectful when we're disrespecting them and their intelligence by perpetrating that lie. Once again, hearkening back to my childhood, I know there ain't no way that some big fat white dude goes to everybody's house on Christmas Eve. I know the earth is pretty big and ain't gonna happen. Deer, deer can't fly. And you can't put a gift in every home with one big bag of toys. You're going back and forth to the North Pole. You got distribution centers in the city that you stop at and pick up gifts. I mean, <laughs> I know I'm, I'm thinking way too much into it. I know it's just stupid, you know. But people get into the Christmas spirit I understand all that, but it's, it's like it's more about Santa than it is about Jesus. And I'm not a religious person. I came up in a church like, you know, like a lot of people did. But, you know, I don't wear religion on my sleeve. I'm, I'm not a Bible thumper. I don't I don't hug the Bible. I, I don't I don't repeat scripture. I don't walk around like I know everything there is to know about the Bible. I don't act like I know everything about anything. I know a little bit about everything. I read about it, try to learn as much as I can. And I try to share the little bit of knowledge that I have. I try to keep it truthful as much as I can, you know, and not, not perpetrate any lies. I try to make sure that the stuff that I'm repeating is somewhat factual based on some sort of fact. So that's all I can ever ask is be factual in our reverence for Santa. Because once again, last I checked, I never heard of the Santa Claus in the Bible being in the Bible. He wasn't there when Jesus was born. It's a marketing tool that we, now we put all this pressure on ourselves. You got folks robbing and stealing, taking out loans, living outside their means, doing all this stuff just so they can buy gifts to keep up with the, the tradition of Santa Claus, the, 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 the tradition of Christmas. You know, you see it all the time. People fighting and stand, you know, standing in line on, 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 uh, on Black Friday fighting and, and you see the videos on YouTube or on the news people just literally stomping each other to death trying to trying to get these bargains and everything and it's just sickening I don't even I don't even bother to go out there in that mess anymore and I gotta admit I did it I mean I stood in line once on Black Friday I went out to where I go I went out to Best Buy or H.H. H. Gregg or someplace and I wanted to get an iPad, and then I had iPads on sale or whatever. And I stood in line like four or five hours, and I finally got my iPad and everything. And, then I, and as I was standing in line, I'm thinking to myself, I cannot believe I'm here. This is just idiotic. I didn't get out of line. I stayed there till I got it. But I swore I'd never do it again. I haven't. And once again, not a knock against people who, who do that kind of stuff. If, that's your, if that floats your boat, Fine. I don't agree with it, but hey, I mean, this is this, this this ain't my world. Okay, I live in this world just like you do. I can have an opinion about it and keep it moving. But if that's what you choose to do, fine. Go ahead. You choose you choose to lie to your kids. Fine. Go ahead. You you choose to allow some fictional big fat white dude in a red suit take out take all the credit for your hard work all year long. Be my guest. But I ain't the one, and I'm speaking about it. If you don't like it, fine. It's not to offend you. It just is what it is. I'm not the Grinch. I don't hate Christmas. I don't. I don't hate people who, who, re revere 
Santa Claus and the, and the commercialization of Christmas. That's your business. Congratulations. Have fun with it. Take care of your family, however, however you see fit. But point of the matter is, is if, if one person out there is listening and this resonates with you, hopefully next year during this time, you'll think twice about certain things. Or tomorrow morning when your kids are unwrapping their gifts and everything, you might want to you know, sit down and have a heart to heart conversation with them. Say, hey, you know, you know, Santa Claus didn't come last night. You know, Santa Claus is, is he, he symbolizes the spirit of giving during this time. But your mom and your daddy or your grandma, your uncle, your cousin, whoever, you know, who wrapped that gift up and put it under the tree is from them because they care about you and they want you to be happy. They want you to have something. Uh, it's, it's a token of their appreciation for you. And, you know, there's not some some guy that flies around in a, in a sleigh with reindeer who's checking whether or not you're naughty or nice. You know, it's, it, that doesn't exist. And if that's what I've been telling you for the last X amount of years. I apologize. Moving forward, I won't do it again. And I want to set a good example for you that no lie is a good lie. I don't care what it is. No lie is a good lie. You know, just... Put it, in, put it in its proper context. There's a place in the world for Santa Claus, but let's just put it in its proper context. And I think that is, is the, the, the gist of this commentary. Let's, let's put Santa Claus in its proper place. Give him the recognition he deserves and what he, and what he represents, but let's make sure we're not cloaking that in a big, fat, ugly lie that we tell to our kids. That's all I ever ask. What do you think? Hit me up. Comment below. Hit me up on Twitter at WhatLonzo Thinks. Email WhatLonzo Thinks at gmail.com. Smack me up on Patreon. I appreciate it. I get a lot of nice comments from people. I get nasty comments from people. I get indifferent comments from people, but I get comments and I do appreciate it. That means that what I do is worthwhile to someone. And that's why I do it. It's fun for me. It's cathartic for me. It's like therapy for me. But at the same time, I'm sharing my thoughts with you. And I appreciate the fact that you take the time out to let me know that my words resonate with you. So if I can, if, if what I do helps or pleases one person, then damn it, mission accomplished. So I appreciate it. Please keep on listening. Subscribe. Spread the word. I'm not going anywhere. Try to give as much content as I possibly can. Once again, it's December 25th, it's Christmas Day. Merry Christmas, hug your kids, hug, hug your wife, hug your loved one, hug your dog, hug your mistress, <laughs> or whomever, hug a cop one day, a, a hug a veteran, help out a homeless person, you know. It's the spirit of giving. Don't be about yourself, be about the world. And let's make 2018 better than 2017 was. And keep it moving. That's all I ever ask. That would be your Christmas gift to me. How about that? Because this is what Lonzo thinks. Bye.